Hey everybody, welcome back to another cost accounting in Excel video. Today we are going to be looking at some problems that deal with budgeting and creating budgeted amounts with some given information. As always, the key inputs have been extracted from the problems and set aside in orange at the top here, and the answers to the questions have been outlined in blue. Let's get started by reading the question. Morrow's company expects to sell 5,000 dinner decorations for $25 each. The direct materials costs are $3, the direct manufacturing labor costs are $12, and the manufacturing overhead is $5 per decoration. And the budgeted inventory levels for the upcoming year are as follows. So we can see the beginning and, invent and ending inventory for direct materials, work and process inventory, and finished goods inventory. Uh, the beginning direct materials inventory and ending inventory are both budgeted to be 1,500 units, and the finished goods inventory is 450 in the beginning and 500 at the end. All right, let's get into some questions here. Question number one. On the current year budgeted income statement, what amounts will be reported as sales? So the income statement is in dollars, and we have the expected sales in units, and we have the selling price. So let's put those two together to come up with this number here. The total expected sales in units is going to be the 5,000 that we read in the problem. They're budgeting to sell for $25 each. And then we're going to multiply those two together to get our budgeted sales revenues, which is going to be $125,000. Question number two, how many dinner decorations should be produced during the current year? Now this one's a little bit tricky because we have the beginning and ending inventory units, and we also have the production, but we're missing, or excuse me, we have the sales, but we are missing the production. And we're going to use the base framework here to understand how many we need to produce given the current budget. So let's start here by filling out the stuff we do know. Beginning finished goods inventory is going to be 450 units. Ending finished goods inventory is going to be 500 units. And the sales for the year, I'll make these negative for clarity, are going to be 5,000 units. So if we want to sell 5,000 units during the year, we know we're going to need to produce you know, 5,000 units. Or do we? You know, we could take some from the beginning finished goods inventory. That's a trick here. However, we know that the ending finished goods inventory is budgeted to be higher than the beginning finished goods inventory. So not only do we need to cover the 5,000 that we sold, we need to cover 50 more. So in that case, I'm going to take the amount that we need plus the amount that we need to have it on hand at the end of the period and subtract beginning finished goods inventory to get our 50-50 here. All right, let's move on to question number three. On the current year budgeted income statement, what amount will be reported for cost of goods sold? So we have to solve for that given some of the information in the problem. So let's take these unit costs here. The unit cost for direct materials is $3. Unit cost for direct labor is $12. And the unit cost for manufacturing overhead is going to be $5, as given in the problem. We take the total of those here, and we get a total of $20 in unit costs. Now, the total amount for cost of goods sold, as it's shown on the income statement, is going to be that $20 times the number of units sold during the year. In this case, we're budgeting our sales, and that sales number is that $5,000. And we're going to multiply these two together to get $100,000 as the budgeted cost of goods sold amount. All right, question number four. What are the current year budgeted production costs for direct materials, direct manufacturing labor, and manufacturing overhead, respectively? Now, you'd think we just solved for this, right, where we did cost of goods sold, but remember, just because we sold it doesn't mean we, act, we incurred all the costs or we're reporting everything we had here. Cost of goods sold is based on units sold. Production costs are based on the units produced. So in this case, if we're trying to capture the costs that went into production, some of them can be sitting in inventory at the end of the period. So these are two different questions, although they do have similar numbers. So the unit costs are similar, right? We're still using $3 for direct materials, we're still using $12 for direct labor, and we're still using $5 for manufacturing overhead, giving us total costs per unit of $20, except this time we need to multiply it by the production. Now the production, again, is not the sales. We sold, or expect to sell, I should say, 5,000 based on our budget. However, we expect to produce, again, based on the budget, 
not 5,000, we expect to produce that 50-50 that we solve for in question number two. So now if we take these and multiply them across, we're going to get $3 times production of 50-50 is $15,150 for direct material costs. We're going to get $12 times 50-50 to get $60,600 in direct labor costs. And finally, we're going to get $5 times 50-50 20, for $25,250 manufacturing overhead costs applied based on the budgeted rates. So there you go. There's some sample questions based on budgets and cost accounting. Hope doing this in Excel is very helpful to you. It's very helpful to me. Go ahead and rewatch the video if you have any questions and best of luck on your future assignments.